Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. Uh, I just scratched myself in the nose. If you're new here, you probably think I'm a weirdo, which is accurate. Now my eyes are watering. Anyways, today's video has been highly requested for so, so, so long, and I can finally do it that I'm in LA because there is a 99 cent store. We are gonna be doing the 99 cent only makeup challenge. So I got a bunch of goodies from the 99 cent store and I was so surprised because you guys actually have like foundation. I got like a bunch of stuff and I couldn't do this challenge before because in Canada, the 99 cent store is called like Dollarama or you know, something along those lines. And we literally have no options for makeup in those stores. So I couldn't really do that challenge because there was nothing to work with in the dollar store, but now that I'm in LA, <laughs> your girl went shopping and she got, I was shocked. There's eyeshadow galore, blush galore. There's still not everything for a full face, but I'm gonna attempt a full face using these products. Maybe they'll be good, maybe they'll be crap. I will let you know. But before we get started, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe. All you have to do is hit the button down below to subscribe. And if you want extra brownie points, just turn the notifications on by clicking the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way I say hello in your notifications every time I drop a new video. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So we're gonna start out with foundation. This is from Aziza Studio Liquid Foundation. This brand basically has most of the makeup in the 99 cent store, at least from what I saw. So I mostly have products from this brand. They're the only ones that had the foundation. If it's good, they're hooking it up because it's only 99 cents. I feel like I'm so close up. Why don't we just back up a little bit? Nobody wants to see all that. I'm also gonna be applying it with a beauty sponge I found from the 99 cent store. It's from Basic Beauty, and it's not basic with this S, it's basic with a Z. Basic, you know. Now, when I went to go dampen this with water, like some weird bubbly shampoo y stuff was coming out of it. Like, I don't know if it was chemicals or what, but it was kind of concerning me. And it also grew to be like three times its size. Why is it so absolutely massive? This, like, is basically as big as my face. And it's kind of the hardest beauty sponge I've ever felt. Okay, so that's kind of orange. That's okay. Let's see. The beauty sponge is actually just lifting up all of the foundation. What the heck? You can see the exact pattern that I had the product on my face on in the beauty sponge. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm literally using a bouncy ball to like try and blend out my makeup. Wow. What? It actually is good for removing makeup. They should start advertising it as a makeup remover because did you see that? It actually magically took everything off my face. It didn't even spread it around, it just soaked it all up. This is the opposite of what you want. Let's put a lot more foundation. Okay, that's a lot. Now let's try and blend it out with this ginormous orange sponge. It's gone, it's making it go away. Oh my God. You guys actually removing all of it. I don't even have to tell you. You clearly see what's happening. It is fully soaked into the sponge. This thing, hey, I actually got it in the bag. This thing is garbage. I am never using that again. I better have spent only 99 cents on that because <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, so to give this foundation a fair shot, I'm just gonna be using my regular beauty blender. This one's way squishier, and this one is just a hard, bouncy ball, rock, thing that soaks up all your makeup. So don't get this. They have way better sponges that are still affordable and cheaper than the Beauty Blender at the drugstore for like six bucks probably at most you'll spend for it. Oh yeah, so nice and orange. So this is the shade Warm out of like the three shades that they had. I'm just gonna apply to work at uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Actually, I'm gonna use this to try and remove some of the foundation because I used way too much. Willy Wonka, are you hiring? I'd be a perfect fit. Wow, okay, that did a good job removing everything. Now let's go back to the regular sponge. Oh my, I'm literally putting a mask of orange on my face. This isn't even a challenge. This is just like mission impossible. It's not layering okay. It's not building on like the problem areas where I try and put a little bit more. It actually just lifts it right off. Let's just put it all the way down my neck so we don't know that it's actually 20 shades too orange. It's a matte, full coverage. Kind of feels gross to be honest, but. It's 99 cents, so keep that in mind. Wow, well, yep, just uh, never mind. That is starting to completely lift up. 
and look even worse when I try and build it. Wow, my forehead is the patchiest thing I've ever seen. Look at the difference from my scalp color and the actual foundation color. Wow, I'm vomiting. Foundation is definitely a no, like I will never wear it again. Even if you're just starting makeup and like looking for foundation, don't try this. This is like kids foundation. And even then, don't let your kids put this on their face. It's setting them up for failure. It's very hard to use. I got no concealer and the foundation is orange. That cannot be used for concealer. So I'm cheating. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, I'm sorry. And look how much lighter it is. Oh my God, this is probably gonna look ridiculous too. It's so much lighter than the orange foundation. So I'm still gonna look like I went skiing. And I had those skiing goggles on, you know? I'm gonna put this all over my lid because the 99 cent store ain't got no eyeshadow primers. They didn't have a foundation primer either. So maybe that would have helped the foundation go on. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Hell no, it wouldn't have because this stuff sucks. I don't have any brow products. I do have an eyeliner pencil. So maybe I'll try and use that for my brow but it is black, so um, hey, this is not as bad as I thought. The black is actually working. It's like a charcoal black, that's why. And if I don't press that hard, then it's not like super black, you know? But you guys know I like to do my brows lighter than normal anyway, because of my hair. So this is just not gonna be my favorite thing, no matter what. Not bad, the eyeliner pencil. If you have dark brows like me, maybe it could work for you as a brow pencil. Like I would still go out in public with that brow. Mm-hmm. This foundation though, no way. Like obviously not my favorite brows in the world, but it definitely works as an eyebrow pencil and it's not as bad as I thought. I just have really dark brows, which I don't usually like on myself, but hey. It even comes with a little sharpener. So there you go. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. So this is also from the Ziza brand, but this was $3.95. It wasn't no 99 cents, so it better be good. I feel like only a few dollars more than that, you could get a really good palette from the drugstore. So let's see, you better not let me down. So I'm gonna go in with this color for my crease. That looks like the perfect crease shade, so I'm hoping I get some pigment in there. These are all matte shades, which is usually hard to find with, you know, cheap kids makeup or 99 cent makeup. Oh no. I can tell right now that there's gonna be absolutely no pigment. There's nothing happening. I'm gonna go in with a darker brown color, mix it with that to just to see how much color we can actually get on our lid. So far, it sucks. It sucks, there's nothing. I put so much on my brush and nothing is coming off. It's like slightly tinting my crease like a little bit more brown, but not enough to where you can actually see it. So now I'm gonna go in with this more warm tone brown. Like it's still a neutral tone, but yeah, okay. So that you can kind of see there's a little bit more of like a reddish orangey brown on my lid now, but still not worth $4. You can't do enough with it. It barely shows up at all. And it doesn't build. Like I'm trying to layer it and nothing is happening. You're really gonna do me like this, Aziza? You have no color, no pigment to your eyeshadows and it's falling out all over my cheek. Now I'm gonna go in with this lavender kind of purpley shade and pray that it gives me some color, but realistically, it seems like all of these are not pigmented at all, so you can't really do any sort of look that involves more than one color. It'll just all mix together and just look like nothing, so. Okay, so here we have the purple shade. Okay, this applicator actually might be good for these shadows because it really packs it on. I mean, you're not gonna be able to really blend anything out with this thing, but it does pack on the shadow. Extremely, extremely chalky though. Like, looks like I'm applying chalk to my eyelid. But it's showing up the color a lot more than I thought it would. But it's all falling on my eyelashes. This reminds me of when I did the full face using kids makeup challenge. Okay, that's basically all I'm gonna do for the eyeshadows. I'm trying to think of like, really who would use this in a serious way. And I don't think anyone should. It's really bad, to be honest. Like, the, I could see this just being kids' makeup where you give it to like a little girl to play around with and it doesn't actually do much to their face that you can see. So it's no big deal, you know? If you're actually trying to get into makeup, I don't think that this is a good eyeshadow palette at all. It is $4. For a few extra dollars, you could get a decent palette from the drugstore from like Revlon or L'Oreal or something, you know? So just save you money for a few more dollars and you can get a better eyeshadow palette than this. Now I'm not done with the eye look just yet. I'm gonna go in with that same eyeliner in black brown cause this thing actually seemed to work. So I'm hoping that we can add a little something something to the eye. I'm gonna just line my lashes. Okay, so it's extremely hard and I'm poking my eye out. It's definitely a lot nicer for your brows I think than your eyes to be honest. Nothing is coming out now. Ow. You guys seeing this? Okay, that's impossible for your eye. I'm glad we tried it for the eyebrow because that's the only thing that you can use it for because holy, it is so hard and it hurts. We need to rebrand this as an eyebrow pencil, people, because it does not work as an eyeliner. Who made this? Aziza, was it you? <sighs> this challenge has got me stressed. There was no mascara at the 99 cent store, so your girl's gonna use her own. Sorry, but 
gotta be done. This actually reminds me so much of the kids makeup challenge because everything is kind of performing the exact same. So now we're on the last step for the eyes. Ta-da! Lashes. This is the only style they had at the 99 cent store and I don't like this style. They're from a brand called Select Lash and clearly they don't look very natural at all. It's like super dense and then just cuts right off and there's like a few hairs sticking out which doesn't make any sense to me. This is the weirdest style I think I've ever seen but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna use the little miniature eyelash glue that it comes with. Here we go. Poke the little lash glue. Whoa! That was scary. It kind of had a little miniature explosion when I poked it. Put some of their glue on it. Oh! Oh my god! It smells so weird. You know how Halloween wigs kind of smell weird? Imagine that, but like 10 times stronger. It literally smells like crusty Halloween wigs that are like rotting. I don't want to put in my eye. What am I doing? What the heck? I just squeezed it so much and absolutely nothing came out. So, um, what the heck is that? What is this worm coming out? Guys, this can't be safe. This can't be safe for my eyes. It's like this weird opalescent jelly texture. The heck? heck is going on here? The glue sucks. It sucks. The glue stuck right onto my lid and came off of the lash, but it didn't adhere the lash to my lid. It just stuck onto my lid. Great. Now I have this weird chemically glue on my eyelid that does nothing. So let's use my regular duo lash glue. That was honestly the worst glue I've ever tried for eyelashes. The band is so stiff that it's really not forming to my eye shape properly. You can really tell that these are low quality lashes. It's bad. So, so far everything is a miss. <laughs> Definitely the $1 makeup from Shop Masse is like a lot better than this. It smells like Barbie hair. This is weird. It's literally floating above my natural lash line. That's because it <laughs> did not bend down. Don't buy those lashes. That's my verdict. They suck. As I'm using stuff, I'm literally throwing it in the garbage. Next up, we have this little kit right here. It's got a three color blush little palette here and it also came with a lipstick. So I was like, hey, two in one. I'll get it. I'm going to go in with this like coral shade. It's kind of sticking to the foundation and that's the foundation's fault. I didn't set it or anything. So hey, that's actually really pretty. I always tell you guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money on blush. Like you can usually make it work. Aside from it sticking to the crappy foundation, it is really not bad. And that's a really pretty color. Yay, we found one that's actually decent. I don't know when I would ever use this red shade because that's a little intense, but the top two shades, I feel like ding, ding, ding. We finally have a winner. I don't have any bronzer. I don't have anything to contour with. They didn't have a highlight. You know, it is very limited, but clearly I can still do most of my face. So the last product I have from the 99 cent store is this lipstick. It's an aloe lipstick, fashionable color, long lasting. That's all I need to know. Long lasting for 99 cents? Sure. Here it is. It's like a deep berry red wine shade. That was the first little swipe and nothing came off. So you definitely need to layer it. Feels moisturizing actually. Hey, not bad at all. It still smells kind of chemically. I'm not getting a very even application, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. For 99 cents and this little blush pack and this lipstick, they're actually my favorite products that I've used so far. So that's the only thing I think is worth it. And as I put more on, it kind of moves the product around. So not my favorite formula, obviously, but got the color on my lips, which is basically all I can ask for at this point after seeing what the other products are like. I look pretty. All right, you guys. So that is all the 99 cent makeup that I have to try out for you today. If you guys actually use any of these products, like please don't hate on me. I just have my own personal preference and my makeup bar is just set like way up here. So I'm just giving you my honest opinion. So keep doing you boo boo. If you like it, you do you. But that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And if you missed my last video, all you have to do is click the box down below and watch it so you can get caught up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little bubble of my face in the corner of the screen. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.